Learn with Eddie. Hi, Professor Eddie. Say hi to all of your lab partners. <laughs> because today is experiment day. <laughs> Remember we asked you for new ideas? <laughs> You've left so many in the comments. It was kind of hard, but we've chosen to make a volcano. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be scared, Eddie. It's a homemade volcano. Uh -huh. And it's not dangerous. <laughs> and you guys can start thinking of what other experiments you'd like to try out with Eddie. You can tell us in the comments. <laughs> Here we go, Eddie. The nice part about this experiment is that we can use recycled items. Like a plastic bottle, which we'll use for the inside. And old newspapers to cover it. You'll see, come closer! First, we grab some cardboard that will lack as a base and we glue the bottle to it. There! Right in the middle! And in order to make the rest of the volcano, we prepare a mixture of water and glue beforehand, so that we can dip the paper in it and place it around the bottle. And just like so, we make a volcano-shaped <laughs> mountain. Once we're done, we have to wait for it all to dry. <laughs> and our volcano is now ready, Eddie. Would you like to paint it? <laughs> this is amazing, Eddie. It looks real. You even added grass and everything. Perfect. Now we can move on to the most fun part. The eruption. <laughs> it's when a volcano explodes and the lava inside it comes rushing out. Uh -huh. We're going to recreate it at home by mixing together some substances that react with each other. Like when you drop a mint in a glass of cola. Uh -huh. Have you ever seen it? <laughs> but in this case, we'll need bicarbonate of soda, liquid soap, vinegar, and our preferred food coloring. First, we add bicarbonate of soda. It's this white powder that we already used for making slime, remember? and liquid soap, so that the lava is bubbly. Any brand will do. Oh, I forgot to ask you, Eddie. What color would you like the lava to be? Red, yellow, green or blue? <laughs> you want to use all the colors? Hmm, I don't know how that will turn out, but let's give it a go. Once we're done with that, we just have to add the vinegar very carefully and the reaction will take place. Do you want to do it, Eddie? Remember, be very careful. Oh, that's weird. Maybe we have to wait a little longer. Wait, Eddie! What are you doing? Careful! Eddie, how are we supposed to stop it now? Quickly, think of something! Hi, Eddie! What are you doing? You're putting away your clean clothes after doing the laundry. Need a hand? Let's see... Your basketball t-shirt... We put away in your wardrobe, of course. And your briefs? Where do they go? Don't you remember? We keep them in these drawers with the rest of your underwear. <laughs> like these socks. But wait! Uh -huh. These socks are different. They're odd. <laughs> Don't worry. We might end up missing a sock after doing the laundry. It happens all the time. <laughs> we can still use these, though. Wearing odd socks is more fun. <laughs> oh, I just thought of something even better. Uh -huh. What if we were to use them to make puppets? <laughs> Great! Making puppets is very easy and we have everything we need. Hey guys, <laughs> would you help us out? What kind of puppet would you make? A giraffe, a worm, a cat? You can tell us in the comments and we'll try it out in a future video. Can you think of anything, Eddie? <laughs> a dragon? Great! I would have never come up with it. <laughs> Let's see... Let's start with the face. We'll use... a couple of buttons for the eyes. 
and we'll affix them with glue. Perfect! And we'll draw the nose holes with a marker. Da! Dragons have very long pointy ears. We can use the ends of these sticks. We color them in red with a marker. And this will be the face. <laughs> Wait, Teddy! It's missing the most important part. The crest. We can make it out of cardboard. We just have to cut out the shape. And now we carefully glue it to the sock. And there! And to make it more fun and original, let's add loads of stickers! Do you like it, Eddie? Wasn't that easy? Come on, let's make another one! How about... a unicorn! I know you love them! <laughs> let's start with the face, just like before! We use a bit of glue to affix the button eyes. <laughs> and now we use a pink marker for the nose. And we use the stick end for the ears. Don't forget. And now we color them in pink. <laughs> and I just thought of something great for the hair. Uh -huh. Let's cut loads of wool strings and glue them to the sock as if they were unicorn hair! <laughs> what is it, Eddie? Am I forgetting something? The horn! Without it, it would just be a regular horse! <laughs> and what could we use? <laughs> An ice cream cone! You have such amazing ideas, Eddie! But look! It worked! It's perfect! <laughs> now we can put on a puppet show! Oh. <laughs> 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 